What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So we're still over here at Perry, Florida at Iron Wars Mud Ranch for their dysfunctional family reunion event of 2024. Freaking super bitching event. Y'all make sure it's gonna be like a little series of videos I'm gonna put out about this whole event. We'll have the bounty hill competition. We'll have a freestyle video, some truck tug of wars, some mud bogging, all kinds of super bitching stuff. But in this particular video, we're gonna do the bounty hole. So I just pulled up, we're gonna go ahead and hop out of the truck, and as usual, we're gonna go ahead and check out all the trucks that are gonna be competing. I'll tell you what I know about them, and then we're gonna watch some freaking bounty hole competition. Now, a couple things we're gonna go over before we get into the video. For one, what the hell is a bounty hole? Some of y'all might be new to the channel, might not know what the hell that is. Basically what it is, they have this big trench they dig out with an excavator. It's like, I don't know, a couple hundred yards long, about 30, 40 feet, nah, it's yeah, probably 40 foot wide. And they'll have all the competitors stack up at the beginning, one at a time, they'll take turns ripping across this freaking mud hole. So they kind of change up from event to event how they're gonna select who goes first. Sometimes you can select what number you wanna go, if you wanna go towards the middle of the pack, if you wanna be first, if you wanna be last. Or sometimes they'll put everybody's name in a hat and pull it out. But regardless, they'll go ahead and line everybody up one at a time. They'll signal the driver, start a timer, and the driver will try to make his way across that bounty hole. Now most of the time, not a lot of people get across it. Sometimes nobody gets across it. So if multiple trucks get across it, whoever got across it the fastest, they take home the pot of money. If no one gets across it, then whoever got through it the furthest gets home the pot of money. And I heard from our boy, Alan, he runs a slow motion mega truck. And apparently the grand prize for this is $500 if no one gets across it. If someone gets across it and they win, then they're gonna take home a grand prize of $2,000. Pretty freaking bitching, right? But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and quit John. We're gonna go down and check out the trucks. But while I'm doing that, while I'm getting on over there, now's a good time to say for you all to go ahead and smash that like button at the bottom of the screen. Hit that subscribe button down there in my channel name. That way you get notified when I upload any other videos, like more Super Bitch and Bounty Hole videos. <laughs> Truck Tug of War videos. Mud bogging videos. Truck Tech Talk videos. Well, Mr. Killer, you have something? Stuff from the boat. All kinds of bitch and stuff always hitting the channel. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss nothing yourselves. Let's get out of the mega truck and go ahead and check out these trucks, y'all. All right, y'all. So they're actually doing Ooh. the kids' bounty oh. right now. It's kind of cool. They set up this little thing for the kids where it's like power no wheels trouble. and they try to go as far hey, as they can. But while they're doing going that, we're going to walk around and check out all these trucks because they look pretty bad. So our first truck we're checking yeah, out. It looks like he's on some five yeah, tons with his old ride. body style. Yeah. Not much of a Ford guy, but kind of bitching. Kind of bitching. Oh, look at this Bronco. Now that is how you run an exhaust. Hell yeah, we gotta get a mad scientist to do that. I've been telling him how cool would that be. But anyways, pretty bitching. It's running wild. And then we got the low key mega truck. It's our boy AJ. Freaking thing is a behemoth out of the heavy metal fab. Bobby Brown, super bitching custom fabrication shop. Thing is freaking huge. It is a monster. I mean, look, I, I know I've noticed before in videos, but if y'all never seen those videos, then y'all wouldn't know. But check out how big his tires are. I'm six foot, and they're freaking taller than me. <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I ain't no skinny fella, and they're freaking wider than me. Oh yeah, and I can stand underneath the running board without hitting my head. <laughs> Real deal. Moving on, we got a blue Jeep, not to be confused with little blue, our boy Doug Lake, but another blue Jeep. It says deep something, deep blue, deep blue. Little Red Express. Now this truck freaking kills it. He's actually won the bounty hole a few different times. Is this your truck, sir? Yep. Really? What's your name? Tony Kleinschmidt. To say it again? Tony Kleinschmidt. Really? Where are you from? Michigan. Michigan? We have watched you do the bounty hole a bunch of times, and I gotta say, you freaking kill it every time, brother. I try to. Yeah? How long have you had this truck? Way too long. <laughs> Way too long? <laughs> what uh, What do you got for an engine, a power plant in it? 604 Chrysler. Oh, Indy oh yeah, She's super hopped up. What kind of horsepower do you think you're running? Really? You got any nitrous or anything, or naturally aspirated? Four barrel carburetor. Hell yeah, dude. Very cool, man. I wouldn't imagine you have any social media. Do you have any social media? No, not really. Okay. Well, we really freaking love watching you do your freaking rips, brother. I try like hell. Sometimes, and the way they make this thing, there's going to be some action. Today. Oh boy, we're excited! All right, man. Well, thank you for talking to us. That was pretty badass. I've been wanting to meet him for a while. He does so good in these freaking bounty holes. Because here, let's let's go back to his truck and we'll talk about that for a second. So he's got 1,100 horsepower, and 
on some augers that are cut but he just basically skips right across the door like some of the bigger trucks like over yonder they kind of the yeah, even, even aj they kind of get to the bottom of it this guy just kind of skims right over the top basically kind of hydroplaning over it and he won a couple videos ago i actually videoed it where he won this bounty oh he's done it a few times the man is no stranger to getting across this thing joe strogan you're on deck make some noise over there father bill i know you Continuing our walk around, we got homegrown, big old massive Jeep. What kind of tires he running? We have gooders. What size are these though? They are 24 532s. And then we got a nice old Chevy. Got our boy Coltrane. He always kicks ass with that freaking Cummins turbo diesel. We got a fat ass old body style GMC. Like old trapper. We got green envy. And you got all kinds of stuff going on on that axle. A lot of old body styles. I like it. I like this old Chevy. That was kind of cool. Love Brian. I'm telling you, bro, this is how we need to do the exhaust on the adrenaline mega truck. Got another old Ford. Now going over to the other side, we've got. No expectations. I would love it if Rusty Tinker would do this. Anyways, we got the Delta Force truck. Thing is absolutely beautiful. God, they build such bitchin' rigs, dude. I gotta tell you, man, it's freaking badass. Look at it. No expense spared. Well, except for on the tape. They were taking off the cylinder, but other than that, this thing's freaking so bitchy, dude. Oh, I love it. God, what a beautiful truck. Great job, guys. Ah, this thing is so sick. And then we've got getting ready. Or tomb chassis freaking ripper. Colorado. We got Sarge. We all know Sarge. We see him at the truck tug of wars and we see him doing the bounty holes here and there. Got the purple people eater. At least that's what I was calling whenever I see this truck. We got our boy Raleigh's freaking compound turbo Duramax called Dirty Looks. Dang, it's real sick. So I do want to stop for one second to tell y'all if you guys do follow the channel or if you're new to the channel, go a couple videos ago, like quite a few videos ago, like I think it was last year or the year before. It was the same freaking time that my engine blew up in my mega truck. Raleigh took me for a rip in this thing, and it is so badass. I brought my GoPro with me, we had a couple different camera angles, and it, it's freaking sick. helped us a little bit figuring out what to do with my truck as far as what turbos to do and how, oh look and he's even opening it up for us thank you sir god hell yeah dude. this thing is like a racing machine i'm being totally honest this is the truck that got my fuse wet to freaking put compound turbos on old killing it and he helped me figure out what size turbos to do he answered a ton of my questions he's still constantly answering all my questions but racing machine is so freaking sick and I uh, oh wow would you look at that that looks very familiar huh what if it has a killing sticker on it oh. oh would you look at that it does yeah no he uh, actually forgot to fill his nitrous so he borrowed a bottle out of the killing truck Raleigh, you were the man, brother. 
and he's always posting some pretty cool stuff about his truck. So if you guys want, go on social media and check him out. This is his page. Now we got Big Blue. Remember we saw him at the barn earlier this year. He was doing the truck toys against Little Blue. I'm a badass little River G. started so we gotta get over there but we got the K Haas mega truck there's only a couple more we've looked at that one before we got an OBS Ford we got our boy Allen with the slow motion mega truck we got PMR and we got King Crush well y'all before we get the video going I got a special guest that's got something to say That was our girl Carly. She is an avid subscriber of the YouTube channel. And this is actually her first time being out of my park. And she says she's already hooked. So I think in the next few years, we might see her ripping around a little mega truck. Right, you know, our first match we're going to be able to see. I think we just missed the first one. This is Gator. The first guy go down the left. Let's try the right. Purvis, and he's got the purple people leader breaking the Alright, so some of y'all might be wondering what the hell that float thing is. The reason why I had that float behind there is because right before the trucks leave to start the bounty hole, they hook and tow up to it and they put a float at it so it's behind the truck so that way the excavator can hook up to them to pull them out. It looks like we got our next competitor coming up. Jeffries, 
I believe that's a PMR suburban looking drug. Got Derek Seymour. All right, big Derek, here we go. Couldn't do a bounty hole in two-wheel drive. But at least he tried. Gotta give him that. And next is our boy Mitch Taylor with a cold train Cummins Cody turbo Crawford, diesel mega truck. Cody Crawford, you're on deck. Mitch says, I'm gonna take that left side. Up next, we got Cody Crawford with an OBS Ford. Chevy, that purple and gray looking one, he's up next. And I think our boy Jeff Godwin with the Delta Force trucks going after him. Cut across to the right. 
don't think she knows she's hooked up. She's trying to go again. They've got you hooked up, bro. I think she wanted to try it again. She goes a 109. 109. Alright y'all, I'm not sure the we'll name see. of this truck, but it sounds like a pippity poppity engine. He looks right, I so the I don't know if that right. will make a difference this or not. Gonna be good. How many of y'all think getting right's going to make a good pass? I do, I do. Chris Haas, you're on deck. Mr. K. Haas, you're now in first place. How does it feel? Awesome, buddy. You're killing it, bro. Thanks. Cut two. He's a real big Jeep guy. Let's see what she's got. Seventy-two hours later. He 
So two little things I want to touch on, y'all. For one, when you're doing these bounty hole competitions, you're allowed to you get going, you get bogged down. You're allowed to put in reverse and back up one time, and then you can reposition and hit it. But you can only do it once, and as soon as you lose your forward momentum, it's done. That's it. That's the end of your run. The other thing I want to mention, some of y'all might be watching this, or you might have been watching some of my truck tug videos, where you see like one of the front wheels spinning and the other one not doing anything. It's because those axles, they haven't been goofed with at all. They're regular straight five times and they've got a slip differential on them, just like your regular car on the road. It makes it to where if one tire starts to slip, all the power goes to that tire. It's basically designed so that when you're turning the tire that you're turning towards, it doesn't dig and tear the grass all up, tear the dirt all up, or whatever it is you have to be on. If you're on asphalt, then it'll cause it to bind all up. But the Killen Mega Truck, you'll notice that we don't ever have that, and that's because we have custom hybrid axles, and in order for those to function properly, the center chunk is all welded together, so it's basically like a solid axle almost. It still pivots, I still got four-wheel steer, but it's all welded together to where there's no slip. All four wheels are going all the freaking time. If you guys are more curious about that, go a little earlier on the channel. I've got some videos that I put up where I kind of explain the whole axles. I tear down the axles in a couple of them so y'all can really get a good feel of how these axles work and why they do what they do. But it looks like we've got a GMC SUV going up next. And I don't mean to freaking have any favoritism, but the next fellow's got the right name. His name's Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bot, he's got two first names. Whatever the hell his name is, let's get him over here. Everything ended up fine. Shaft. You'll get that on these big jobs. Up next, we got our boy Kevin Lawrence with the King Crush, freaking massive power stroke mega truck. He was chief beef at the mud parts for a long bit time until when Bobby Brown got into the business and started producing all kinds of big 35 fiber trucks. So 35 five, y'all hear me say that in the videos. That's referring to the size hey, of the tires. Hey, like one of them dudes under your truck? They're like 80 something inches tall and I believe 38 yeah, inches wide. Yeah, you got somebody's wide. earring out big, here. Big massive exhaust tires pipe. and it's probably about 2,000 pounds per corner between right, the tire and he wheel. So 8,000 pounds of wheels and tires on that rig. digging down deep enough to actually get to some hard the pack right below it and actually get traction and keep going. I've seen that happen on a few other ones. If we'll you watch some of our other the bounty hole videos, tonight. you can see that happens every now and then. I'm not sure what this fella's name is. It sounds like a uh, gas or old body style GMC. Oh, yeah. y'all 
up next our boy Riley Klein with the dirty looks freaking compound turbo rear engine mounted race mega truck he's up next we made a little deal I let him borrow my nitrous bottle use my nitrous bottle and in return we got onboard access so y'all gonna be able to ride along with him while he does this freaking match and we'll get some outside freaking footage too should be kind of bitch hopefully he tears it up goes to show you this mud ain't no mother freaking joke nobody's made it past like the first 120 feet 150 feet and up next we got walker in with the american freaking jeep american jeep all well, the home going to right, pretty american Mr. Walker too. Jean in here staged in let's see what she's got All up next, we got a real classic. Our Watch boy freaking AJ with a low key mega truck. He's always dancing when he pulls up to the freaking bounty hole, and he usually does some dancing while he's driving too. And he's always got the music freaking crank, you know? so you can hear his bass already. <laughs> he's a good one of our buddies, though. Always helps us out anytime we need anything. He's freaking awesome, really good friend of ours. Yep, see, told you. There he goes. Can't bring this guy anywhere. I've had a lot of y'all ask me in the past, what does he got for a sound system? Um, well, the answer to that question is simple. Everything. Tony with the little red express is up. He's a skimmer. We call him Jesus in Michigan because he walks on water. I was lucky enough to take a ride with him in, in Michigan at a bar. It feels like riding in a boat. That's all I know. And it's going to get loud, folks. Mr. Tony Pine saying the red See? 
Well, y'all, everything took a pretty hard right turn. That's actually going to be the end of the Bounty Hill competition. Our good buddy Kevin Lawrence that has the King Crush truck, the big orange Harley Davidson edition 35.5 truck. He uh, was, got a little too close to the strap when Little Red Express was getting pulled out. The cross member that the strap was hooked to end up giving way and the strap and that big piece of tubing is probably about a three foot long piece of two inch tubing or two and a half inch tubing happened to hit mr kevin right kind of in his femur looks like he's uh he's okay uh, he's gonna hopefully make a full recovery we'll see i mean honestly i don't know i don't know i shouldn't even speak i don't know i don't know what's up with him he's definitely in some pain and he's in, some, in a tough spot him and his family are definitely gonna need y'all's thoughts and prayers 100 percent i'm sorry we couldn't end the video on a little better terms and we're sorry we couldn't see the rest of the competition but you never want to see your boy get hurt and it freaking sucks it is what it is but if y'all would please please keep mr kevin and his family in your thoughts and prayers y'all that's gonna be the end of this video though hope y'all enjoyed it hope y'all learned a little something and as always thanks for watching y'all if y'all enjoyed the video and want to check out future videos subscribe to our channel hit that button right there while you're at it, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. You can also check out our website, killingitlifestyle.com. There you can follow the Killing It crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're killing it! Killing it.